everybody, I'm Terry Darty with the Mom's Choice Awards, and we're here at Book Expo 2014, and I'm visiting with award-winning author Haley Rose, who just is going to talk to us today about her new book, Do's and Don'ts. Congratulations on the new award. Thank you, Terry. I'm very excited. I saw over here that it's an International Book Awards winner. Congratulations. Yes, thank you very much. I'm really excited. It's been getting a lot of recognition, and I'm really happy about that. Awesome. Do's and don'ts. I'm guessing a manners book. Yes, yes. Okay, so how does our monster play into our manners book? Well, the monster does all the undesirable um, actions. So, um, talking with your mouth full of food, interrupting others while they're talking, taking their presence and run. Um, you're a little more like the manner monster. And then when um, you're doing the correct behavior, it's Zach or Chloe, which are the two main characters. And they're showing you how to act in a more acceptable way. Awesome. Now, are Zach and Chloe teaching Lewis how to make the right choices? It's actually, um, Zach and Chloe become a manner monster. Like most kids, you're a manner monster. Sometimes you try to be always on your best behavior, but sometimes it's a little difficult. So you sort of become the manner monster doing those behaviors, and then Zach and Chloe come out as their natural, well-behaved, wonderful children. That's a great idea, though, because we all talk about, you know, traditionally, if you want a book, that has a life lesson, it's okay, here's the way that you're supposed to be, as right. opposed to recognizing that, you know what, you may not be that way all right. the time. How important was that to you? Um, well, it was really important. Growing up, I had to be, um, really mind my P's and Q's kind of thing. You really had to respect others. Um, it was all about kindness, it was all about gratitude, it was all about respect. Um, and so, actions speak louder than words. So it was really important for, um, me to show you what's not the best behavior in a situation and then show you how um, how to react in a better way and how to behave in a better way and it's really to promote kindness self-awareness um, for the others around you and yourself so. now how do you I mean I would imagine that you have several programs built around the theme of the book I do I do I actually have um I was all about the thank you cards when I was growing up so um, I have a um, a stationary set and a thank you card set and I'll go in and do programs about you know as soon as you get your present say thank you um, so write your you write your letter right away while it's still fresh show um, that you really appreciate the time and thought that someone took to give you a gift you know so it's kind of reciprocating back the gratitude and the thankfulness so um, that's one of them now, in sharing, you mentioned going to school visits. What other kinds, I mean, what has the reaction been? What kind of questions have the kids asked you about? How do I? That is really funny. Actually, I get more, um, I'll read a lesson, because my books are more like lesson books, um, not a story you read from, you know, happy ever, you know, from once upon a time to happily ever after. It's more you take a few pages, you read about the lesson, and you have a discussion on it. So um, the kids will all say, don't talk with your mouth full of food. Who does that? And then the kids will raise their hands. Sometimes they'll tell my sister does it, my brother does that, and then we'll talk about the good behavior and who does that. And sometimes we'll talk about why. Uh, but the kids will then um, elaborate on some other things they do that they probably shouldn't be doing. So it's really a it's a really funny conversation actually. But it invokes a lot of discussion, which is. I was gonna say funny conversation, but how do you keep a straight face? You don't. You don't always keep a straight face. You talk about, and I'll talk about my experiences with them too. And then I'll also ask them how do they feel. Um, I'll ask them how did they feel when they did the undesirable behavior or when they had it done onto them. So we'll talk about their emotions and how they feel with that, and that gets them more on the right track as well. With regard to kids and the undesirable action, where yeah. they are basically the victim or the recipient, right. give us an example on of one the, of those. Okay, yeah. so um, one of the lessons is don't open a closed door you don't know what's on the other side. Um, so I'll ask if they've ever done it, and then I'll ask if that's ever been done to them, and they'll say, yes, I was in my room changing, and someone opened the door and I, I felt embarrassed and I you know, felt angry and, I, you know, and stuff like that. So we'll talk about that. And then I'll also ask them, have you ever done that to someone else? So it kind of comes full circle. So I'll have kids walk in on their parents in the shower sometimes, you know, and stuff like that. So um, that's one of the lessons that Do you, about. I mean, does it go to that next step though and talk about, okay, how can we, you know, 
yeah, we all open doors not knowing what's on the other side, but how do we solve that? You know, it's been done to you and you've also well, done it. Well, basically, as a reminder, how did you feel when that happened? Um, and most of the time, the kids didn't feel well with it. So it creates that emotion. And when they go to open that closed door the next time, they think about, oh, I didn't like when I just walked in, you know, when my brother John walked in on me. What if, you know, I don't know what's on the other side. I'm going to knock first, so I'm not going to create that um, uneasy feeling with my, whoever might be on the other side. This is a great. I love the span of topics that you've picked from the traditional don't eat with your mouth, you know, don't chew with your mouth full to just simply opening a door, which is something we do all the time. I would not have put it in this category, but clearly it belongs there. Right. So thank you for that. Thank you. I kind of, I've put some safety tips in there too. It's mainly an etiquette book, but I've got some safety tips in there too um, because it's all really about kindness as, as well. And when you're kind and you're mindful of yourself and others, safety is a part of that. Yes. So. Well, I'm glad we were able to catch up again. Thank you. Me too. And we'll see you again next year at BEA. Definitely. It was great. Thank you. You're welcome.